imperatives and superlatives? Ami's Harvest Festival. Learning goal. Students can distinguish and understand common sentence patterns in comparatives and superlatives. Comparatives and superlatives? One way to describe nouns is by comparing them to something else. When comparing two things, you will probably use comparatives. These are adjectives like smaller, bigger, taller, more interesting, and less expensive. You can spot them because they have an ER ending or have the words more or less in front. When you are comparing more than two things, you might identify one as standing out from others by using superlatives. This means words and phrases like smallest, biggest, tallest, most interesting, and least interesting. Here we use an EST ending for the words most and least. Let's listen to Ami's Harvest Festival, an experience of a foreign traveler. According to most visitors, the magnificent East Coast is the most beautiful area of Taiwan. So that is where I went on my vacation. The scenery of Taroko Gorge was dominated with cliffs that reached higher than I could see. The Pacific Ocean was deeper blue than I had ever seen anywhere else. However, the distinctive cultures of the colorful locals are what gave me a more lasting experience. The waves gently rolled onto the golden beach, providing the most relaxing sound. I sat on a beach towel and watched the green palm trees sway in the gentle breeze. The later it became, the more seagulls gathered on the beach looking for their evening meal. The birds flew away, and the cutest red crabs scurried past my feet as they were startled by the loudest drum beats I had ever heard. The beating of the drums grew louder and louder, and villagers wearing the most colorful costumes began to sing. The younger people gathered in large circles, singing in the native language of the Amis tribe. The older generation sat and watched the activities, Everyone gave thanks to the harvest of millet, a grain that is the most important food of the locals. It is also the main ingredient of the area's most popular wine. I stayed longer than I expected in order to experience the entire celebration, which became livelier each day. chose to stay in a bed and breakfast, which was cheaper than staying in a hotel. It was owned and operated by an indigenous couple, which made my stay more special. Experiencing this meaningful cultural festival in Taiwan taught me the greatest lessons. The local activities promoted respect, gratitude, and unity. This was an opportunity for the elders to help the children of the village to get better at their traditional songs and dances. The last day of the festival was the most special for me. Visitors were allowed to join in these activities. People I didn't know grabbed my hand and taught me how to dance with them. The circle of people got larger and then smaller, following a rhythm. As the drum beats got faster, everyone's feet moved more quickly. What did the Amis Harvest Festival mean to me? It was an honor to experience authentic indigenous culture that has been performed in Taiwan for hundreds of years. That culture is much older than I expected. 
The Amis tribe is Taiwan's largest Aboriginal tribe with more than 170,000 members. I met many Amis people on the East Coast and they always made me feel welcome. Because of this experience, my vacation was much better than I expected. The best time of year to experience the Harvest Festival is the later part of July or earlier part of August.